TV4. We are at Caston High School where they are taking on the visiting Manchester Lady Squires in a softball game tonight. Abby Malco here with Tim Wagner. We will start off with the lineups first for the home team, Caston. Number 13, center fielder, Bachelor. Number three, batting second, is Gearhart, the catcher. In the number three spot, number 18, Schultz, the first baseman. In the cleanup spot, number 15, Alt, the third baseman. Number 14, Miller, the second baseman. Nice. And number six, Brown, the shortstop. In the seven hole is number nine, Hook. She's the pitcher tonight. Number 10, Hauk, is the right fielder. Batting in the ninth spot is the DP Klinger, and rounding out the lineup is the left fielder, number eight, Ray. So mid lineup right there. First pitch. First pitch was a strike. strike. And up to bat is number five, West, the left fielder for Manchester. Okay, the lineup for Manchester. We got obviously we got West up first, number five, left field. Up second, we got number seven, Howard, right field. She flies out. Flies out. Up third, number nine, Carter, third base. Up fourth, batting cleanup, number 13, Stacy, catcher. Fifth, number 37, Sydney Day, first base. Sixth, Number 10, Fiersto, second base. Seventh, number 11, Milam. Is that right? Milam? Milam. I'm going to feel bad if not. Last Short night, stop. There was a girl named Milam, and it's spelled that way, so we can. Well, there we go. We yeah. can change it up. Oh, let's see. Number 8, 24, Kendall. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, designated player. Number 3, batting ninth, McKenzie Day, center field. And last but not least, number 12, McKee, the pitcher this afternoon. Is it afternoon? It, yeah. Yeah. I mean. It's kind of hard to tell. kind of looks like. Winter? Yes. <laughs> it's like January, if it weren't yeah. green outside. So the count to Howard is one and two. One and two. There's one out. Leadoff batter slapped a. Bloopy line drive to the third baseman, and there's a bunch. a bunch. He'll probably make it on there. Good wheels out of Howard, the right fielder. Little chilly once again. Hasn't been warm since I can remember. <laughs> well, at least it's not raining today and true. raining sideways. Don't say that word. Rain? Yes. Don't say it again. I can hear you. Okay. So up to bat now for Manchester. Number nine, Carter, third baseman. Watch the ball low on that one. Manchester coming in with a pretty good record, I know, just by reading the papers surrounding areas. They've beat up pretty heavily, run ruling quite a few teams. One and one. I think I heard you say something about Rochester being one of those teams. Yes, I do think Rochester lost uh, 18 to 7, maybe. 18, Close one then. 18 to 11, something like that. Fly ball. Oh, oh. That's a hit. Run is at first and second now. That we got thirteen, Stacy. Went for a bun on that one. Fell off foul. One one's the count. Two runners on base, one in scoring position. Got that bunt down. Oh, looks like they got the bases loaded on that one. Yeah, safe at first base. 
So just one out, but bases loaded with the number five hitter up. Is that right? Sydney number five Day. hitter, yep. Yeah, I did just hear from the crowd there. The wind is going out. I wonder if that's going to be a factor today. Yeah, I would say so. Short fence here at Caston. We were at Culver last night. They had a 10-foot fence. Yikes. Height-wise. So. It's like a big green monster. Yeah, it yeah. was. It wasn't green, but it was big. It's, yeah, right. Big, clear monster. I guess behind the Clear? There. Yeah, I mean, you can <laughs> transparent. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I know what you meant either way. Well... Two and O's account. Okay, got on that one. Run scores. Got one out at third. That makes it two out, so Gaston could get out of this with little damage if they get this next out, being the bases loaded for the last two batters. Strike one to Fierstos. So, two runs score on that? I believe that was two, yes. It was one. Maybe it was one. Score is two to zero with two outs in the top of the first inning. Swing and a miss on that first pitch. Zero and one. Another swing and a miss on a good pitch. Ball gets past the catcher, so that's a double steal. Two runners in scoring position for Manchester. Counts 0-2. Manchester sure seems to want to get that early lead. They're going after it. Oh! Dead ball. That'll load the bases up once again. That brings up Kendall, number 24. Timeout called. A little powwow on the mound. Yes. It's another thing I noticed. Any just little differences between baseball and softball. They have a level, the whole field's level. No, uh, the mound's not right. elevated. And it's, it's crazy to realize how fast, when the ball does get hit off of a fast pitcher, and the ball's hit hard, how much the ball scoots across the dirt because there is no grass right. to yeah. to slow it down. And I honestly haven't watched a lot of high school baseball games. I'm just used to softball in college and seeing how things go. So <laughs> there, could, there could be a smashing hit on the infield, and the grass does slow it down, which yeah. thank goodness because that little baseball will fly just as far. Oh, yes, it will. Oop. A little chop there. Looks like that's going to be an out. Yeah. Yep. So that ends the inning, and Caston will head to the dugout. Manchester grabs their gloves. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this.
Welcome back to the bottom of the first inning. Kasten up to bat. And the first pitch is a foul ball. This is number 13, the center fielder, Bachelor, at the plate for Kasten. Oh, pitch it at her feet. Yellow inside, that hurts at your shin bones. I would think so, yeah. A little bit of everything there. Way high on that one. And this is McKee on the mound. <laughs> two and two is the count. Full count now. A little high on that one. Chopped foul. Count still full. It does look like they're all pretty well dressed for it, though. They got sweatshirts and yeah. layers and under armors and sweatshirts. Yeah. Oh, swing and a miss. Strike one, first out of the inning. I mean, strike three, first out of the inning. Strike one doesn't really do much for you. Yeah. Number three, the catcher, Gearheart, up to bat now for Kasten. Yeah, thought she was a lefty. Guess not. Yeah, you see more lefties in softball Ooh. than you do baseball. Nice pitch, but that's a ball one. Like an infield fly, maybe. Nope. Oh. Couldn't call it. Tough communication. That lands for a hit. Kind of bad lighting, too, when you look up at the sky. It's kind of yeah. bright and hazy and uh, lost it in the clouds. Yeah. It didn't look like they were talking, though. No. Maybe talking a little too much. Yeah. Not sure which is the case. Yep. Shortstop or center fielder needed to take control there. This is number 18, Schultz, first baseman at the plate for Kasten. Foul there. Yeah, that would be ill-positioned Ill because you would be looking right at the sun when yeah. that ball is flying up. Yep, better angle on the shortstop to come over and get that. Yep. Ooh, swing and a miss. Big swing on that one. Yeah, high fastball. Foul ball straight up. Foul. Goes out of play. It's crazy, too, the difference between the backstops of baseball fields and softball fields. Yeah. I mean, the fence, everything's just so much closer. Oh, yeah. You can tell just looking at the field. Mm -hmm. I mean, quite a bit of difference. Counts 0 and 2 with one out, one runner on first base for Kasten. Down by two runs just in the first inning. So is it more common to see the low fences like this in a uh, softball venue, or um, is it just kind of this, what they do? This is I more mean, of the older, I would say, older fashion. Okay. Like, this field isn't old by any means, but this is the newer fields will have the higher fences. High fly to right field. Ooh, it's going to hit the fence. off the fence. Runner will advance to third, standing up. Puts runners on the corners. Is first base coach over there in shorts? He is. He's in shorts. Uh, that is a man bolder than I am, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, man. That takes him. Must be very, very warm blooded. I would say so. He's got a windbreaker on. Yes. I don't know if that. If that counts. Yeah, I don't know if that makes you warm in your legs. <laughs> nope. Maybe it's a superstition thing. Oh, well, that would, that would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> 
very superstitious sport we're dealing with I, here. That it is. <laughs> yeah. And steal. Ooh. Take down. Take down. And it's like one scores. Yeah, so steal at second base will kind of be a sacrifice, but the shortstop's able to pop up, and uh, Kasten gets safe at home. So that's two to one now with two outs. That was a heck of a collision there at yes, second base. It was. Yeah. Kind yeah. of slid last second. First pitch up foul, looks like. This is number 15, Alt, the third baseman up to bat. Her count's 0-2. Third pitch coming up here. Nope, swing and a miss, strikeout. That'll do it for this inning. Score is two to one, heading to the top of the second inning. You're watching RTC TV four. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to the top of the second inning here. Up to bat for Manchester is number three, Mackenzie Day, center fielder for Manchester. Takes the ball in the dirt there, ball one. I'm noticing a lot of sock hats out here this yes. afternoon. It must be that cold, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, it's windy over here. And we're, oh, we're even wearing them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. we're behind the building, so yeah. I can only imagine how it feels out there. Two in the dirt. 2-0. Ball like three? Three, you know, that wasn't quite as low, but still too low. I feel like at some point we should zoom in on those cubes over there that the people are sitting in. I think so. It's actually a genius purchase, and if I would have known about them prior to this event... Probably would have had some, yeah, maybe. I yeah. would have done that as well. First batter walks there, uh, four in a row. You know, I've seen those things for kids, like they play in them. I didn't think it was a thing a for wind, adults. A wind break. So up to bat now is number five, West. Steal at second there. Or? Yes, Day stole second base. Had to shed some layers to get that pitching arm all ready. It's very hard to pitch in a sweatshirt. You mean? I would certainly think you so. May not yeah. Think, but yes, it is very difficult. Things get caught and twisted and. 
Well, since you're one of the most active players on the the field right now, yeah. I suppose you'd probably be decent. You say warm pretty warm. Wise. Yeah. West has a count of two and zero. Oh. Ground ball to first base. Ground ball straight to first. I don't believe the runner will be advancing. Nope. So Day is on third base. And one out. Up to bat is number seven, Howard. She's the right fielder for Manchester. But goes foul. Seems to me like runner advancing on a, a bunt in that situation doesn't seem like the best idea, but I don't know. The runner on third, that um, is. Yeah, sometimes they call that a safety squeeze. And that's perfect, that, perfect position going to first base there. Yeah. So it's a nice sacrifice bunt. Maybe a safety squeeze either way. Two outs. Score is now 3-1. to one. Manchester in the lead. And Worked this, out the way they needed it anyway, yeah. yeah. Number nine, Carter, is the batter, third baseman. Ball in the dirt on that one. High on that one, 2-0, two, oh, two outs. High fly to center, and it's caught. Three down. <coughs> that takes us to the bottom of the second here. Tim Wagner, RTC4, we'll be right back. And we're back, bottom of the second. Score three to one, Squires ahead still. First pitch is a foul. We got number 15, Alt, up to bat. Or Abby pointed at the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Swing and a miss, Abby. <laughs> How about 14? 14, Miller? But we're close. Wow. It wasn't like it was far off. Yeah. <laughs> We'll still blame her. It's fine. Happens all the time. Yep. Nice changeup. Misses as ball one, but that's a nice third pitch strike. Strike three makes out number one of the inning. This is bottom of two. Is that a called strike or a strikeout? Uh, swing and a miss. Ooh. Ooh. 
Number six. Brown. Oop, shows Bunt. Decides against it. Ball? Yeah, ball mm -hmm. high on that one. One and oh is the count with one out. Ooh. Nice bunt in fair territory. Got good on that one. Out at first. Couldn't quite wheel it out. It was pretty close. Up next, we got number nine, Hook. Showed Bunt went away from it there. Took a strike. Own one. Ooh, big chop at that one. Going two. Looked a little high. Yeah. yeah. Chase that one on a high fastball. <laughs> Third pitch coming up. High fly to left center. That one's going to bounce right at the fence. She's going to turn two. Standing double on that one. Very well hit. Next, we got number 10, Hauk. Nope. Oh. Foul ball off the fence there, own one. It is warmer with these headsets on. <laughs> Keeps the heat in. Yeah, it does. You know. Oh, I've also heard comment that the wind block we have here is phenomenal. So Yeah, yeah. I ventured out past the wind block, and I almost didn't come back with... Without my, frostbite. Right, frostbite, yeah. and I even had my scarf fly off, and then I had to chase it around for a minute. Naturally. But yeah. yeah. I'm here. You made it. And my scarf is here. Yes. So we're hiding. It's like a foul tip there. Count one and two to the batter. Two outs. Like you said, nice hit to the fence. Kasson's had two fence balls already this game. Resulting in a stand-up double on this last one. I think if that first one caught more of a breeze, it would have been over. Yeah, no, absolutely. What are the chances to not catch a breeze tonight? But, That's fair. But yeah. that happened. Our odds are pretty good over here, yes. actually. Exactly. Two and two is the count. Ooh, big old swing and a strikeout on that one. That brings us to the top of the third. Score still 3-1. to one. You're watching RTC TV 4. Welcome back to the top of the third inning. Up to bat for Manchester is number 13, Stacy. She's the catcher. Count is nothing, but the score is wow. three to one. Manchester's still in the lead. Hard to tell from here. Looked like a strike, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell from her over here. So. Backstop is the best place, but we probably wouldn't have standing equipment, so. And we'd be frozen. <laughs> that too. 
Wanted that one, but held back. Wise decision. Looked like it was awfully low. Mm -hmm. Three now. Probably would have had to golf it out of the dirt yes. anyway. So. so that's for another day and another sport. Another venue, even. Just as cold, though. Yeah. There's the first strike. Three and one. So is every pitcher's wind up a little bit different? Yeah, absolutely. I'm kind of noticing that, too. I think when I was playing college ball, my coach liked to have all the girls with the same windup. And I wasn't a big fan of that because no, then no. the batter just gets to see a different face on the same windup each sure. time. So yeah. the beauty of having different windups is that it usually takes about one time through the lineup to really get it nailed down. Yeah. Kind of throw off the offense a little bit there. Yeah. There's yeah. a general standard. You know, and sure. then you can mix in your own flair, and then there's some that are just way off. Sure. Just not a little unnecessary. I'm not a big fan of the ones that scrape their mid on the ground and do a squat right before they pitch because I just I didn't <laughs> want to have to put that much into it. That seems unnecessary. <laughs> it was. They had great leg muscles, but the necessity of it never made yeah, sense I don't, to me. Yeah. But, I mean, baseball pitchers are, I mean, unless they throw sidearm or something that's way crazy, they all pretty much look the same. True story. Yeah. Unless you're a lefty, that doesn't count either. Oop, foul tip. Since we're catching up, Stacy walked and then advanced to second on a steal. Up to bat now is um, Sydney Day. Not McKenzie, but Sydney. Like a ground ball to the pitcher there on that one. Yeah, nice defense. I think it's a good rule of thumb if you're the pitcher. If you can defend your circle, anything else will go to the shortstop or the second baseman. But those hits up the middle are the the crucial ones. If the pitcher can get it, then your defense is that much more solid. That's one of the toughest places to defend, too, because that yeah. ball is rocketing off that Right. Bat. You just finished a, finished a pitch, and now you're about 35 feet away. Stacy scores on a pass ball there. Four to one. Now is the score. Manchester in the lead. A little high on that one. One and one. Sure look like a strike to me, too. Mm -hmm. One and two on that one. Fly ball to right field. Looks like it will drop fair and in play. Like a stand-up double on that one for Fierce Toast. Just one out here. I'm not sure she could have made a play on that one in right field. She would have had to have more wheels than she had, I think. Yeah. Tough play on that. That was tough, yeah. The ball's probably moving a little bit in the air, too, due to the windy weather we have today. seem to have some wobble when mm -hmm. it gets up there. Hard drive to left center on that one. Fierstos will Fierstos score. scores. Stand up double from Milam. Milam. I'll get it right by the end of the game. I'm not sure which yeah. way is right, honestly. So we'll have to, she'll have to forgive us. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get one of them right. So five to one now is the score. That it is. Number 24, Kendall, the DP. She's hitting for the pitcher. McKee is up to bat. Runner in scoring position still for Manchester and just one out. Ball in the dirt. 
Ooh, Ooh. had some contact there on That's third base. That's tough. You got to slide there, otherwise. You got in. Got to slide, or you'll have some injuries. I'm not sure who would have been injured on that one. It might have been both of them. Yeah, usually, make scares me when the joints connect with each other. That's never, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never a good thing. Makes you cringe. Yes, especially. Good looking strike there, right down the middle. Yeah. One to one is the count. One out. Five to one is the score. Big swing on that one. Looks like the runner's going to advance. Oh. Ooh. And That's she was safe. Tough slide there. That was a tough slide. Might have cleated the pitcher on her way by. I think it got her hand, actually. That's not going to feel very good on a cold day. So kind of a tumble into home plate instead of a graceful slide. <laughs> it looked like Milam felt that one, too. Yeah, we saw a couple of those yesterday. There was one girl that, uh, this was Culver softball playing LaVille. She went diving home head first, Ooh. which is always scary at home. It's That's rough. like number yes. one rule. You don't do it. Too many things get broken and stepped on. And uh, she actually stuck in the dirt because it had been raining. So where she started to dive is where her dive ended. <laughs> oh. And the legs went up above the head, and she ended up being called out. So it was a tough situation. Must have been a ball on that one, two and two. Kesson looking for an out here with just one. Oop. Foul down the third base line. Same count, two and two. Manchester looking to tack onto that lead. Six to one now. Yeah. Well, you can't watch those kind of pitches go by. Yeah, it's a big strikeout. Hook on the mound for Kasten with the first strikeout of the game. Up to bat, number three, McKenzie Day. Sister is Sydney Day. Cousin, potentially. Sister, sister. sister. We don't even know. We don't. Yeah. We're, just, we're guesstimating. Hypothesizing. Wow. Yesterday I said, instead of completion, I said finalization. I was going to ask you if that was a word. Is finalization a word? I believe it is. It yes. is? Okay. Yeah. Sprant made it seem like it wasn't. And then he said completion was what he preferred. I said, well, then you could just do all well, the Well, then talking. that's what we'll use. Well, then you can just do all the blabbering. Two and one is the count with two outs. Even if it's not a word, I like it. I do, too. And high fly ball. That one will land right in front of the fence. She's booking. She's Stand turning up. to three. Stand up triple. She slid in. And that's a big hit for Day. Brings the top of the lineup back up for their third time in just the third inning here. Little powwow on the mound. Like she's talking a little bit about her hand that got cleated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> T 
Two outs here. Two and oh is the count. Just kidding. There is no count. This is a new batter. The scoreboard lied to me. One and oh is the count. Number five, West, is the left fielder and the batter. The left-handed left fielder. Lefty, yep. lefty, left, left, left. Left, did he left, left. Watch his ball, too. Ooh. Ooh, right in the center of the back on that one. That one made my back tingle just Ooh. a little bit. Ouch. Puts runners on the corners. Still two outs here. Six to one is the score. Manchester in the lead. Number seven, Howard up to bat. Hoping for a force out here. Try and wrap this inning up. This half, I guess. Top half of the yeah. inning. Look a strike on that one, 0 and 2. You gotta wonder what kind of mechanical disadvantage it puts you out to be a slapper. To be. Doesn't. Well, I'm saying in terms of hitting, actually hitting oh, the ball. Oh, right. I. Yeah, you kind of have to pick and choose. If you're fast and you're a lefty, you're just going to have to get used to the fact that you're not going to hit home runs and you're not going to power it past the outfielders. You're just sure. going to... You're going to put the ball on the ground and run. And probably get on 90% of the time, though. That's the beauty of it. Oop. If you do it right, you have a better, better chance of getting on more consistently than if you were a power hitter. But when there's a bases loaded situation, you're not usually the one that they want... Sure. To poke it out into the green. Good stop by the cast and catcher. Looks like a run did score on it that did. pass ball. Pass ball yeah. Seven to one now, but they just prevented a another, another run. Another one. There's only one runner on base now. This is Howard up to bat. Ooh, strike three. That's the second strikeout of the inning. Kasson's pitcher, Hook, doing it all by herself, doing a pretty good job. Even after getting her hands smashed. Yeah. Score is 7-1 to one here. We're heading to the bottom of the third inning. Manchester in the lead. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back. Bottom of the third, we're back. Number 20, Klinger up to bat. Klinger is the 
DP hitting for the pitcher. One and one's the count. Took one high on that one. Big chop at that one. About the same pitch. One and two. Kasten looking to get some action on the board here. Yeah, seven to one is the score in the bottom of third. Needing to start chipping away at that six run deficit. Watch that one go by outside two and two. Smart look on that one. Oh, swing and a miss. Strike out on that. Out number one for the inning. Ball number one for number 13, Bachelor. Gotta love how all the hitters have their little ritual that they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Up oh, shows a bump, then swings. Play at shortstop. Two down. Two quick outs so far this inning. Thought she might have had that one. She was booking it. You might not be able to tell, but it's number three, Gerhard, up to bat. Fluffy blue sweatshirt coming yeah. up those numbers. I'm not going to blame any, any of them for any layers they need this afternoon. Want to know a fun fact? I absolutely want to know a fun fact, yes. In college, we were not allowed to wear sweatshirts, even when we were playing in February. Those are the rules, eh? Uh, coaches' rules, not college rules. Ooh. You couldn't play on the field with a sweatshirt on. Your number had to be showing, and if you did have one on, you had to have your hood tucked in. So, we tried to go down south, but one year we went to Georgia, and it was snowing. Good deal. They told us it hadn't snowed there in ten years. So naturally, the year you get there, <laughs> that's that's the time. That's usually how it goes. Yeah. One and two is the count. Two out, seven to one is the score. Looks like on one of those foul balls, she hit it twice. Oh, foul tip. Same count, one and two. Looks like that foul went across the road. Yep, sure did. Wonder if they ever hit passing cars. <laughs> is that like, is that good luck? It's good luck, like when a, yeah. like when a bird passes you and does yes. what birds do. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Is that a foul tip? It was. Actually, I believe it was just a foul in general. She she was already at first base by the time she found out. Mm -hmm. One, two, same count. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strikeout. That was one, two, three, I do believe. Yes, it was. That will end the inning. We will head to the top of the fourth. Seven to one is the score. Manchester's in the lead. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this.
And we're back. It's the top of the fourth. Score still 7-1. First pitch, ball in the dirt. 1-0. and I'd love to tell you who's batting, but she's wearing a windbreaker. Yeah. Um, it is number nine, Carter, because Stacy's on deck. Ooh. Is that a dead ball? Dead ball on that one. Stacy up to bat. Carter on first. Good stop on that one. 1-0. One Drop ball. Steal on second there. Two knows the count. Another dead ball. Ouch. So runner not able to advance on a dead ball like that. Runners on first and second. Sydney Day up to bat, number 37. JV baseball game going on behind us. Cast and boys baseball team. Varsity's traveling to Triton tonight. I think if it started snowing here, we were going to go to Triton. <laughs> I think that was the plan, too. Yeah. So no outs. 1-0 is the count with two runners on base. Casting up by six runs with a score of 7-1. to one. Top of the fourth inning. Manchester's up 7-1. What'd I say? Who's the other team? Oh. Yeah. Oops. It's okay. Runners do look anxious to go, though. Oop. Ball in the dirt on that one. Runners advance. Now two runners in scoring position. Looks like we're going to have a pitching change, maybe. There is a cast and pitcher warming up. First baseman will go in to warm up, needing to change gloves, as the first baseman's mitt will not do the trick. Do the same as in baseball, different size mitts. Uh, first baseman has a yep. different size mitt, yeah. They have more of a webbing, kind of a... Bigger, yeah. I always thought it looked like a fish. A fish body. It was an elongated, you hmm. know, mitt when it was closed. A fish mitt. It could be a fish. Very good. Yes. It's similar. When you stare at it for a long time, you can kind of see it. Kind of. <laughs> so while they are taking a break to warm up, we will take a break as well. Be back right after this.
And we're back after our pitching change and warm up there. Runners on second and third still, looking anxiously to advance. And the pitch. That ball clears. It looks like two runs will score. Seems like Keston's having a tough time this afternoon. Number 10 up to bat, Fierstos. First pitch. Drops it right in front of her. Advances on second to indifference. Got runners on second and third. It was an excellent bunt drop down. Died right on the ground. Number 11, Milam up to bat. Takes a big chop at that one. Swing and a miss. Own one. Second pitch. Big, heavy swing, left field. That clears the fence. That is a home run. It's like a three-run shot for Milam on that one. That makes your score 11-1 to one here in the top of the fourth. Base is cleared on that one. Brings 24 up to bat. Kindle. Looks like the score made the correction, I believed. 12 to 1. Ball high and outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Got a little piece of that one. Foul off one and one. Schultz was brought in to clean up a mess, kind of inherited one, but couldn't quite get command quick enough. Two and one's the count. Fly ball straight to center field. Tough one to play. She's rounding third. Stand up triple for Kendall on that one. Still no outs. Top of the fourth inning. Ball outside on that one, one and oh. One and one on that. Here comes the pitch. Oop. Inside a little bit, but a strike nonetheless. One and two is the count. Still no outs yet this inning. Oop. Oh. Looks like that one... Stayed in, bounced off the third base, and we got a single. Runners at first and third.
Well, unless I'm seeing things. Yeah, yeah. Just had to retrieve another lineup sheet. Number two was and remains up to bat. Tara Lincoln. Looks like a run scored on a pass ball as well on that one. Way high and outside. One and one. Pinch hitter for Manchester is Tara Lincoln. Like another run scores, but RBI, but first out of the inning. Also cleared the bases. So they don't keep their pinch hitters on the lineup cards, then? Uh, no. Pinch hitters can be. Thrown in at any time, just one at bat, and then they will stay in the game if they become a substitute and play it on defense for that player. I figured they'd still show up on the roster, that's why. That's why I asked. It's not on the Right, but her number was two. Oh <laughs> and that's twenty one. That was the confusion. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well numbers are hard. <laughs> <laughs> because math. Because of math. <laughs> Swing and a miss for strike number two. Looks like she got hit by that one. Bat, we have another sub, Shambarger, number one. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss. Oh and one. Strike there, 0 and 2. Little bloop. Looks like it's going to be out at first. Second out of the inning. Advances runner to second base for Manchester. So one runner in scoring position, but Caston's a lot closer with two outs here. Up to bat, 13, Stacy. I believe this is uh, her second time this inning. Comes the pitch. Watch that one go by on the outside. Owen, no, the other way. One and zero. Oh. 
High fly to left center on that one. It's like 15 will score. And stand up double for Stacy. Brings her score to 15 to 1. Still two outs. Top of the fourth. Bat, we got number four, Greer. Looks like Manchester is going to have an entirely different lineup in the bottom of the fourth. Mm -hmm. Making some substitutions. Way high on that one. One and oh is the count. In comes the pitch. Foul ball. One and one. Ball in the dirt, catcher stops it, no advance. Two and one's a count. High outside on that one, three and one. Two outs here with just one runner on base for Manchester. Trying anything to get out of this inning, I think. Mm-hmm. A little high on that one, but takes a chop. Infield single results in an RBI. Make that substitution number eight Wyman up to bat comes the pitch a little high outside ball one and oh it seems strange to ask but can you replace your entire lineup you can Wow. As many subs as you got, you can sub them all out if you need to, slash want to. So if you had nine, you could sub everyone. Yeah, you could have a whole wow. new lineup in innings four, five, and six if you wanted. That would be bold. You just can't put the original starters back in once right. you subbed yourself. Yeah. Three and O is the count. Still two outs. Took a look at that one. Three and one. Comes the pitch. Nice. Took another look. Probably should have took a swing at that yeah, one. Three that, and two. That looked like a good pitch way from over here. Behind the windbreak. Exactly where we need to be. <laughs> Comes the pitch. Ground ball. Should wrap it up. And it does. Heading to the bottom of the fourth inning. 16-1. to 1, Manchester in the lead is your score. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back. No. 
right back. And we're back. Bottom of the fourth. First pitch. Takes a foul chop on that one. Schultz up to bat. Got herself out of that inning finally. Tough position to get put in though. Very tough. I think it was very good on her part. Dude, those two ground balls came back to her. I think she just decided that she's going to pitch them. Get the ground balls to have some strikeouts if possible, but try and take care of the inning herself. Didn't quite turn out that way, though. Nope. Got a chop on that one. One and two. Yeah, it's about that time in the game where Manchester was kind of warming up and had a few runs here, and then it ended up being seven runs and then broke it open top of the fourth inning for sure. Ball in the dirt, two and two. Ball outside, full count. Schultz needing a good leadoff at bat here to get cast in some momentum. Another foul tip. Good battle. Since about 90% of Manchester's lineup is different, they're all adjusting mm -hmm. to being on the field, I think. Yep. Pitcher's the same, oh, shortstop's familiar, but other than that, everyone looks pretty new. Walked on that one. That brings up Alt. We're going to have a pinch runner on first. Seventeen. Do we have a number? We have a number. Maybe not a name, but a number. A name. No. Oh. Maybe it was a borrowed sweatshirt. I think you do what you have to in this situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice pitch. Good looking strike. 0 and 2. No outs here with one runner on base. Lined up. Here comes the pitch. Fouled back. 
Oh, and two still the count. Ground ball to the pitcher looking to turn two, and they'll get the second base runner, but not the first. So it's just one out here. Squares for a bunt, but we'll probably pull it back for a swing, and she does. It's used mostly for a timing mechanism than anything else. Good looking strike right up the center there. One and one's your count. Almost in the dirt on that one, two and one. Nice pitch. Three and one. On the inside corner. We're far enough away, though, that my opinion doesn't count. Even if we were close. My yeah, opinion sure. Count. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Gonna have a ground ball, and she safe. Runners advance first and second now. Little powwow out on the mound. So are the fielders just the first and third who have face masks? Or also the pitcher, obviously. Yeah, mostly uh, the ones within face smashing vicinity. Sadly, that's true. Because it has that's, happened. Yeah, yeah. They probably have a technical term for it. Mm -hmm. Most likely. One to know is the count. Here comes the pitch. Showing bunt. Swing on nothing. One and one. One and two on that chop. Strike three. Two down in this inning. That brings number nine hook up to bat. Runners on first and second. Low in that one, one and oh. Comes the pitch. Fouled back. One and one. Another foul tip back, one and two still. Another way low on that one, two and two.
All right, foul ball infield. Oh, dropped. Runners will advance. Looks like Kasson's going to get one here. 16 to 2. Tough play for the Manchester pitcher on that one, pretty knowing tough. that pretty easy out ends up having to work a little harder for her position. Looks like the wind got a little on that one, too. Looks like it kind of mm -hmm. whipped around up there when it got up there. Drifted closer to shortstop than anything. Yep. Got a bit of a cushion they can afford to miss one, I guess. Right. Good time to learn. 16 to 2 now is the score. Own two is your count. Two down. Looking for a strikeout on this one. Here comes the pitch. Ball inside. Crowd didn't like that one. One and two. Manchester fans have a pretty good following on a cold, nasty night, not being very close to home. Yeah, I'll give them that. They came out with their blankets and their hoodies and their sock hats. I mean, I think that was the only way to go. One and two, here comes the pitch. Another foul ball. Still one and two. Fouled off the hands. That is never a good feeling. Mm -mm. Not on a warm day. Especially not That's on a cold especially day. Especially on a cold day. Yeah. It's like someone jammed your joints. Mm -hmm. Comes the pitch. Yet another foul tip. One and two. Comes the pitch. Another foul tip. One and two really battling this one. Yeah, lots of pitches looking for the pitcher to make a mistake here. And pitcher hoping batter swings and misses. Comes the pitch on a one and two. Nice change up. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That one will end the inning. Nice off-speed pitch. Score is 16-2, to two, heading to the top of the fifth inning. Manchester in the lead. We'll be back right after this. And we're back for the top of the fifth inning. Manchester up to bat once again. 16-2 to two is the score here. 
and uh, we're not sure who's batting since there's been a lot of substitutions and a lot of sweatshirt changes with no numbers on the back. But there is a batter, and her count is... 2-0, and I believe. Yes, 2-0. Yeah. Schultz still on the hill, taking the ownership, I suppose, for the game. In comes the pitch, low it in the dirt, 3-0. and Right at us there. Right at past the coach, too. That would hurt. Three and one on that foul. If the order is correct and she wasn't subbed, this is Milam. But it's hard telling. I don't blame him for the layers. If she's the shortstop, the then I'm pretty sure this is her. Just kind of <laughs> leaned in and watched that one. Mm -hmm. Full count, three and two. She thought she had a ball. Yeah, ended up. Not so much. Called strike. Comes the pitch. Full count. Way out. And she walks. Brings up 24, Kendall. Kendall made a couple rounds around the bases last inning. Yes. As did Milam, actually. Milam, I believe, is the one who had the uh, three-run shot. Yeah, big inning last inning for Manchester. Very big, yeah. Comes the pitch. Strike on that one, 0-1. Oh Pitch. High fly to center field. Looks like it's going to drop in. Runner is going to advance to third, held up, and slid into second. Runners at second and third. No outs here in the top of the fifth. Brings up number three, Mackenzie Day. High outside, 1-0. Manchester looking to add to a pretty huge lead already. Pop fire strikeout is ideal here for Kasten. Infield pop out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Specify on the dirt pop fly. Ball outside, 3-0. Can afford to watch this one go by if you like. Don't make a hitter's count much better than that. Right. Comes the pitch in the dirt. Ball four to load the bases. up number two, Lincoln. Comes the pitch. Way high, 1-0. Oh, chopped it right down the first base line. So they can get a run bunt. score. Ooh. That was a tough one. Mm -hmm. That was very tough. Run score 17 to 2. No outs. 
tough one to field or play in any direction, honestly. Mm-hmm. Comes the pitch. Fly ball toward us. Drops fair. Run will score. Makes it 18 to 2. It occurs to me you can't have a suicide squeeze from third base, can you? Because you can't advance until. I guess you can. No, you can, yeah. We do have. That would be we tough. do have squeezes. Yeah, it's pretty bang bang. You gotta place the ball precisely when you are bunting. Yeah. Yeah. Preferably. In between. First base line. No, because first baseman's coming in so hard. If you hit it right at the first baseman, you try and hit it. At the second baseman and the shortstop, you try and get it in between those holes and hope that... Well, that's placement. <laughs> yeah, that's that's usually the goal. But obviously, just touching the ball is goal number one. How far, I mean, how far advanced would your runner... you got to be two-thirds of the way down the line off a of third base, I'd think. Because you can go right now. now mm -hmm, and then you just, it's a dead sprint as soon as you go. So if the runner... Or if the batter misses the bunt, then the runner's toast. Right. So you run the risk of it being a crazy pitch, and it's really a suicide squeeze at that point in time. Well, in this scenario, I, I mean, I don't know that it would make much difference. Nah, not with bases loaded, because you just step on home instead of tagging. So Sure. Kasson's going to make a pitching change. We are going to take a break as well. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back. We're back. Number one up to bat, Shambarger. Comes the pitch. Oh, post foul there, swinging right at us. One and two is your count. Base is still loaded. And a strikeout. Nice first out for the new pitcher coming in for Kasten. A big out, much needed. Still in a bit of a jam. Find her way out of it. Stacy up to bat, number 13 for Manchester. Bases loaded. Comes the pitch. Oh, drive hard to right field. One hops the fence. Got a runner caught. Gonna get you Oh. Oh my goodness. Just makes it to second and third. That actually ended up being an RBI. Miscommunication that turned into an RBI for Manchester. Is that one run scored or two? Um, I thought it was two. One on the hit and then one on the almost pickle. 
Yeah, that would make it 20, I believe. Yep. 20 to 2. It is. Number four, Greer up to bat. Comes the pitch, took a chop at it. 0 1 1. Comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0 oh 2. Mm, nice pitch on the outside corner. One and two. One down here in the top of the fifth. Ball number two, two and two. Comes the pitch. Ball outside, three and two. Full count with one out. 20 to two is the score with two runners on base. Be interesting to see after the fact what happened with Stacy during that particular. Yeah, yeah, just kind of, I think on a, on a normal situation, you would take two on that. Oh, um, took a ball on that one. But probably not paying attention to where her runners were, just overran a teammate. Or it could have been some first base coach miscommunication, sending her not knowing that the third base coach was stopping the runners ahead of her. In any event, the confusion actually worked out. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. always happen that way. Rarely. They got yeah. pretty lucky. Usually get caught in the run on that mm -hmm. one. Sometimes it results in two outs with that mistake. Yeah. Base is loaded. On a hit by pitch there. Counts 1-0. Oh. Wyman up to bat. The pitch. Fly ball. Left center. It drops. Got an out at second. Nice. Runner scores. So that's two outs here. Two outs in the top of the fifth. 21 to 2. Kasten will potentially just have one more at bat if they can't score enough runs to make the deficit less than nope. 10. Fouled off there, 0 and 1. So if you are down by 10 after the fifth inning, they count that as the run rule of the game. So Kasten has some making up to do after this inning to keep it going. It's a bit of a hill. A bit of a hill to climb. Comes the pitch. Oop, chipped off again. 0-2. Oh Runner is basically moving on everything here. Mm -hmm. oh. Ball on that one. One and two. Two outs. I mean, you might as well run on everything at this point. Yeah, runners on the corner. Yeah. For Caston. I mean, Manchester. High fly to left field. Might be a home Looks run. Like it got out of here. And it was a home run. So, Milam will clear the bases. Second three-run shot. Her second one? Yeah. Oh, I must have been changing the batteries on the camera for the first that one. That you were. Yes, 24-2. to <laughs> Her team said they told her not to do that. Yeah, well... I don't know. Yeah. I usually, it usually just kind of happens. It's never something, when you mean to do it, it doesn't usually happen. Sure. So. Yeah, it falls in. <laughs> Down the line. Shortstop will get the out. That'll Looks be the like end of the inning. that's the end of the inning. And we'll be back right after this.
And we're back. Bottom of the fifth. Score 24 to 2. Comes the pitch. I took a swing. 0 and 1. So potentially the last inning here if Kasten can't put a hefty number of runs on the board. I believe it's. What is it? 11 if you're playing at home that they'll need to put on the board? No, 12 even. You just have to be down by 9, not 10. They'll need to put 13 on the board. Yes. Comes the pitch. High on that one. Full count, 3 and 2. Not good at math, so I'll let you do that. All right then. And watch that one go by. That's strike three. One down. Must be getting warmer out there. The layers are coming off. Or they're numb. True. They don't have any feeling. Could be anymore. either way. Number 13 up, Bachelor. Big chop at that one. 0 oh and 1. Comes the pitch. High fly to right field. That one's going to sit down. Looks like she's going to turn two. And standing double for Bachelor. Some action for the Comets here. Good battle. This is the previous catcher, Gearhart, number three. Comes the pitch. High fly to center. Right center. That one will drop too. Bachelor Kessler. rounds and scores. Second stand-up double. Makes that 24 to 3. <laughs> Brings up Schultz to the plate. Comes the pitch. Low inside on that one. 1 and 0. Oh. 20. Four to three is now your score with one out. Bottom five. Comes the pitch. Low inside again. Trying to get her chase maybe. Two and oh. Oop. Got a piece of that one. Looks like Short's going to pick it up. Oh. And that'll wrap it up with a double play. Tough way to end the game. Yikes. But that does make the final score 24 to 3 in the fifth inning. Manchester Lady Squires taking the victory here at Caston High School. You've been watching and listening to RTC TV 4, Abby Malco and Tim Wagner. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.